Okay, so if you agree with me that Virgin Galactic needs a more competent PR team, please smash that like button. So if you have a look at today's stock price, you can see we've had significant volatility. And if we have a look at yesterday's closing price of about $18, you can see we've dropped about $20 to open at around $14.5. And thankfully, we've had a significant rally slash recovery of about 25%, and we're now back at yesterday's closing price. So what actually caused this significant drop? Hey everyone, welcome back to Underdog Investing. So today I want to talk about what caused this significant drop and it's most likely due to the earnings call yesterday. And it's less about the numbers and more about expectations surrounding the test flight and potential delays. Before I jump into this, I'd be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. Okay, so if we have a look at this article by CNBC, they talk about the delay in the test flight. So the space tourism company gave an update on progress toward a repeat of the space flight test that was aborted mid-flight in December. While the company says repair work on an issue with its spacecraft VSS Unity is now complete, an unexpected possible maintenance issue with carrier aircraft VMS EVE was identified after test flights last week. So just to give you a recap, in December we had a test flight and during that test flight we had an issue with the electromagnetic interference which prevented the ignition of the rocket motor. So that test flight was aborted and we had to delay the repeat of the test flight till February. And when February came around we were told that the electromagnetic interference issue was not completely resolved so we needed to delay it a further few months so we delayed it till May so we're actually in May now and yesterday in yesterday's earnings call what they told us was the uh, issue of the electromagnetic interference is pretty much resolved which is a very good sign because that was the main issue but we've got this slight other issue now basically there's a main possible maintenance issue with the mothership VMS Eve, which potentially they're looking at potentially delaying the test flight if they need to fix this um, maintenance problem. Um, so what they actually said is they will tell us um, in about a week's time with an update on the schedule implications to our next test flight. And this was Mike Moses, the president of Virgin Galactic. So I've got a few issues with this. The first issue that I have is with their PR like I mentioned at the start of the video because the last tweet we had um, looked all great. Um, it was on the 5th of May um, about a week ago. This was the mothership and this was a picture of the mothership on their mini test flight um, just on its own before they have the official test flight with the rocket. So they made it look like everything was running perfectly but they didn't mention anything since then and only in yesterday's earnings call did they say there's a potential problem with uh, maintenance of the VMS EVE which could potentially delay the test flight. Now to me this sounds like something they probably knew very early on uh, last week so I'm just very disappointed that they didn't mention it to us. This is why I say they really do have an incompetent PR team. Investors like myself and yourself we would really appreciate some honesty and transparency when it comes to uh, updating us in terms of what's happening whether there are any any issues we won't be angry about it if anything we'd be very grateful that they're updating us on a regular basis and I think we deserve to know this information as investors so that's something I'm disappointed about the second thing that I'm disappointed about is it's a maintenance issue. This is something that could have been anticipated and uh, predicted earlier on. It's not like something that just came up out of the blue and out of their control. A maintenance issue should not delay this test flight considering how important this test flight is to the survival of this company. They shouldn't allow something like a general maintenance issue to delay the test flight. Okay, so those are the two things that I'm not quite happy about. So if we have a look at this article, um, you can see that their cash position is very good. So 16, sorry, $617 million in cash. Um, so that's a significant amount. They had about $666 million to start with in uh, 2021. So we've used about $50 million in Q1. And we're expected to use about $60 million in Q2. Now I think we've had 
uh, we've made some really good moves in terms of stock offerings back in 2020 when the stock price was very high so with this significant cash position I feel very comfortable and the reason for that is because I think that we're going to become operational way sooner than we're going to run out of money so that's a very good sign that we've got a significant amount of money okay there are worries about um, competition. So as you all know, uh, we've got Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin, and then we've got Elon Musk and SpaceX. So the ambition of becoming the first suborbital space tourism company is now in jeopardy. Bezos's Blue Origin plans to launch its first crewed mission in July and has generated huge publicity by auctioning a seat. SpaceX is already carrying astronauts to the International Space Station and has $2.9 billion, a $2.9 billion contract, NASA contract to help land people on the moon. So some people might be a bit concerned about um, Blue Origin getting there first or uh, SpaceX getting there first, but personally I don't see this as an issue because with space tourism at the moment and in the near future, demand is going to completely uh, outweigh supply. So whether Blue Origin get there first, Virgin Galactic get there first, or SpaceX get there first, we're still going to have significant demand compared to the supply available in terms of space tourism. So I'm completely not concerned about that. And I think that for rich uh, multi-millionaires who are willing to go to suborbit with Blue Origin, they're probably going to be willing to um, book a ticket uh, to go to suborbit with Virgin Galactic because it's both, they're both going to suborbit, but it's like a different kind of experience. And I think that there's a market for um, th there's uh, there's plenty of room for competition, basically. And I think it's a, it can only be a good sign. So I'm not concerned about competition. So we do have some good news. So. If we have a look here, we've got Adam Jonas, an analyst at Morgan Stanley. So what he says is, while still seeing tremendous potential for Virgin Galactic, Jonas said technical problems could delay the timing for generating revenue more than a year. So he maintained an equal weight rating at and $30 price target for the stock. So that's a decent price target. I mean, compared to uh, today's level that's almost a 2x on your investment so it's, it's decent I'm happy with that and then just to finish off you can see this is the um, the numbers which like I said weren't really important that's why I'm not going to stress too much on it we missed our earnings per share uh, what do we expect we're not we're a company which is uh, not making any money uh, we're waiting to be operational and in terms of revenue that was zero um, they expected 0 0.3 million i think that was possibly due to nasa payloads but obviously that didn't happen so um yeah it's gonna be zero so like i said numbers aren't important it's more about the uh, expectations surrounding space the test flight so what's really important now and what what's really important to look out for is virgin galactic updating us on what's going to happen with the maintenance issue because Hopefully, the ideal situation is they say the, the ma maintenance issue can be um, delayed until October, which was the time when it was meant to be fixed, um, and then we can continue with the test flight. What we don't want to hear is that they're going to have to fix the maintenance issue and at the same time delay the test flight. So let's look out for that. Um, I'll make a video when uh, we get more news. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think about the earnings? What do you think about their PR? And what do you think about the stock price? And if you found this useful in any way, please do share this with your friends. All right, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.